guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a little guest here. This is Teddy. He's our puppy. If you guys have not met him, he has been in my videos before because he is super needy. Oh, he just got me like right in the mouth. But he also has the worst breath. But hanging out with mom means that he is constantly showered in the aftermath of makeup. And uh, I don't think he minds. My husband's convinced that uh, our dog is a flaming... <laughs> <laughs> gay dog but that's okay we love him anyway uh, we took him to the dog park the one time we took him to the dog park he kept like trying to um, hump this other boy dog and he's like neutered so I don't I don't know why he was trying to do that but that's a little fun fact for you guys about Teddy anyway today I wanted to film a chit chatty video this is kind of random it came to me while I was was it while I was driving um, yeah, kind of while I was driving because I was watching a beauty channel. I don't really want to say who, but I feel like you guys will figure it out um, when I describe it. But basically, it's a YouTuber that is kind of well known for being like a minimalist in makeup. And um, she does a series where she talks a lot about like consumerism and um, how much is too much and things like that. And like the marketing gimmicks of beauty companies and like how you know beauty companies like trick consumers into buying stuff and all that stuff and um, you know a lot of her videos are very interesting I do enjoy them um, but the that made me think of and I don't really know why or like if there is even a place like this like a place for this video um, on YouTube but it kind of got me thinking about like a beauty guru and like and like what our definition of a beauty guru is because um, the whole theme of this channel is minimalism and you know she doesn't like to buy too much she likes to only buy things that generally make her happy which I think is a great practice like as a human being um, but it kind of got me thinking like at that point are you then a youtuber like are you a beauty guru or are you just somebody that has very strong opinions on the internet just putting yourself out there like it was just very interesting to me because a lot of the things they talk about, it's products she's never tried, but she has very strong opinions on. So she's like, well, why would you buy Kylie Cosmetics? Like, they seem like it's like um, high, high, like high price ColourPop because there's like speculation that ColourPop makes Kylie's products. Now, I haven't ever like personally researched it. I just know it's a, a rumor on YouTube. Um, so like... I just feel like it's interesting because you know there's people that watch that and then they they form their own opinion of like who they should purchase from so I feel like you know there's a lot of benefit to this channel because they don't push everything on you um, but then I'm like well then are you actually like helping anyone because you know unless somebody's like b blindly following you you're not really providing any information um, on what the product is like or why you think people shouldn't buy the product so I just thought that was interesting and then it got me thinking like Karen like are you a beauty guru like do you consider yourself a beauty guru or do you consider yourself a subscriber or like a connoisseur of YouTube because I watch a lot of YouTube and it's been really weird lately because I went on this month-long trip and I was still watching YouTube but I wasn't making videos and after I came back, you'd think I'd be so excited to film videos. And I don't know if it's because the season is changing and it's summertime now. And I feel like I have so many things to distract myself with, especially to be outdoors. But I've had a really hard time finding like inspiration, um, wanting to make, because I want to create like original content, but I feel like everything has already been done. And I'm like, I've got all these palettes because I got so excited and ordered a bunch of new releases and I'm like oh I should test them I should review them and I'm like but like really who cares what I think you know and then I think on the flip side well you do have subscribers that love watching your videos and they're very loyal and sweet and kind and make it all worth it but I think watching this one youtuber really got me thinking of like what is a beauty guru and what's a beauty guru's purpose like is it how much free product they get so they can do reviews is it how many subscribers they have because they have more influence to convince people to buy stuff or is it just that they're a small channel with you know loyal fans and then if it's like a minimalist channel is it really a channel that's helping the community or is it more suited to be 
in another you know genre of YouTube not like beauty but more so like minimalism so it's very interesting and I want to know what you guys think like what do you think is the definition of a beauty guru is it somebody like Casey Holmes or Manny MUA or Jeffree Star that have huge subscriber counts that we can like a regular person like me couldn't even imagine I honestly have so much like I don't know I want to come out here and put my best foot forward like I want to be like super glam every time I film a video but it's just not realistic because I have a full-time job and you know I'm I feel like I have I'm, I don't have kids but I'm busy and to you know sit there and try and do like a full beat after I get off work like I salute people that can do that and I don't want to film on the weekends because it takes up a lot of time I even have my own dedicated filming space and it still takes up a lot of time for me to like sit down, sit up my lighting and all of that stuff and then like thinking of concepts and things like that. So for me, I'm just so curious to know what you consider a beauty guru. Is it just somebody that has an opinion? Because I feel like I like to try things and make my own opinions. There are some YouTubers I will watch and um, I'll be like, oh yeah, I totally agree. That's how I feel about that product. But I feel like what are the, what is the point of a YouTuber, like what is the point of a channel um, that hasn't even tried products or you know they're basing all of their content off of what they see on YouTube like are you then you know kind of just like taking other people's work and conveying it as your own because you're like oh my gosh I've never tried dose of colors but I hear people say it's awful or like oh I didn't even know that the Moschino palette was a thing like why are people buying it it's such a like a packaging buy so very very curious to hear your thoughts maybe this doesn't make any sense if it didn't make any sense to you that's totally fine but I just wanted to make it because I'm curious to hear what your definition of a beauty guru is where do you guys go to get your beauty updates to see what new products are coming out um, what new palettes you should buy like I'm just so so curious to know so leave me a comment down below and if anything else you have to see Teddy who is a huge pain in the butt but he's so cute He's got the worst breath, you guys, so give this video a like if you want to support Teddy because he's on the internet and he doesn't even know it. Right? Oh, he got me again! Oh, you're too good, Teddy. You're too good. I will catch you guys later and hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.